uh, both as a small businessman and as a selectman, I've watched year after year of this dysfunctional, one-party dominated state government that I find to be simply out of touch with the people of Massachusetts. Now, it's not dysfunctional by the efforts of our three representatives here tonight. It's because of the lack of balance that allows the legislative majority leaders to call the shots that the rank and file just agree to time after time. And so Massachusetts keeps getting these same results year after year because we keep sending mostly the same kind of people back to Beacon Hill. And I say it's time for people who are more like these legislators who are here with us this evening. I say it's time we don't have more of the same as your state senator from the second district. district. As governor, and as uh, both the previous speakers have mentioned, Paul Salucci proposed and the voters approved an income tax rollback that was never fully implemented. The people spoke. Why weren't they heard? As your state senator, I will protect the interests of the taxpayer. Talk to any business person about how difficult it is to make good jobs, how difficult it is to grow and expand, how difficult it is to just make a living operating a business in this state. They'll tell you that the taxes and the regulations in Massachusetts are no, in are no incentive to do business here. It's proven. Fidelity builds a facility just over the state line in Rhode Island. They didn't move south because of the nicer climate. It's proven when our bright, educated young people leave the state by the thousands to find good jobs elsewhere. As your state senator, I will work to make Massachusetts a state where many good jobs are created, not driven away. Did you see the front page of this morning's telegram? It was perfect. House Democratic leaders say local aid may be reduced. Well, long before we have drastic cuts to our schools, our police and fire departments, the maintenance and snow plowing of our roads, I think we want to hear from state government about their hiring freezes and that no state programs are going to be created and no existing ones will be expanded before we start hearing about local aid cuts. So as your state senator, I will fight to protect our local aid. Our state government has not been working right for some time. We get the same results because we keep electing the same type of people. More of the same is simply not going to cut it anymore. Everyone here, everyone here has already helped me, but I still need to ask you for your help again. I am not part of a powerful political organization. I need financial support. I need volunteer support. I need help at the polls on election day. I need people making telephone calls and talking to their friends in the district to spread our message that here in the second Worcester district, the last thing we need is more of the same. So I thank you for your friendship. I thank you for your support. May I please have your vote on November 4th. Thank you very much.